but that's before I tried to walk up a spiral staircase using a mouse and keyboard, and that's not easy. You know? Oh, look, a study. Well, that seems like a strange place to put a study. Wait a second. I don't like that sound at all. Notes on torture. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are therefore to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of the torture you are about to apply, and then continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all, it will all be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Wow, that's... interesting. Is it you, my love, I miss the most? Or per is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Oil. Yay! Alright, let's pick up the obvious then. String. I'm not liking this music. I'm not liking this music at all. However, the good thing is I get to survey the, you know, area very nicely while coming down the staircase to be 100% sure that it's safe. Okay, Dan, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Should I take the left, right, or center door? Right. Alright, we're going to the right. Fucking dark hallway. Dark as shit. sound effects. Hung upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his be belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The man stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Jesus. P 
piece of an orb. Cool. complete. Which way next? Let's go. Next you will go to the center. Center it is. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. disturbing things going on, but, I mean, let's face it, by this point, we kind of know that already. Ugh, I know what this kind of torture is used for. This is all fun. He was slowly lowered off of the on and off the impaler. It didn't take much time to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. <coughs> well, that's... that's gross. Not a good way to go, that. So we'll take this piece of an orb too. Only one way to go now. in this place. Uh, just not even pleasant. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave away to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step.
or port. I'm out of here then. Can't say I'm sad to see this go. Cheesy poos! <clears throat> the remaining ore pieces can be found in the choir. I'm getting a call from somebody in Skype. I don't know who it is, so... It's just gonna sit here and continue to make a noise until they hang up. There we go. That's fast. Agrippa channels there. There taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and he still insists on releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such a lack of compassion in the seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa, as, he's beyond, as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the world beyond. There claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to help... That he needs me to give him a grip of first, so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige. But how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is the most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Ware told me to feed him a tonic made from Paralyzer, Vitae, and Tanther. A poisonous fungi would work as a paralyzer if I could find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be fertile grounds for this sort. I should be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during next torture session. Tamper, Tampter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of secretion in the water-dwelling Kernick. I will have to address Veyr with this, as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Pronounce me, Ty. Oh, well. <laughs> also, why is this fucker using a cactus to defend himself from ghosts? Because <clears throat> cacti hurt. He's just holding it over his head. Well, it would hurt. <laughs> in court, the Order of the Black Eagles spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. This guy's so emo. You're in a horror, horror game. It's gonna be kind of emo. Eh, fair enough. You know who else is kind of emo? Cheesy poofs. Oh, Beckett. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I do get it. Also, Johnny did not realize that during those conversations in four, where multiple people are talking. He didn't realize that those were all player characters. <laughs> I just told him, and according to him, and I quote, he is now slightly aroused. I can't argue with him. 
The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before endings are all, you won't be able to save me. This guy's so fucking greedy. I know, he just wants all the cheesy poos for himself. That too. I mean, you know, I, I don't want them all, but I want some. I'm killing ghosts all day. I want some goddamn cheesy poos. But no, this guy's just keeping them all for himself. It's not really nice. That's all I'm saying. That's true. That you say is true. Alright, time to go into the choir. That'll be nice. Choirs are always nice places, right? Right, Dan? Dan? I wonder oh, if I'm sang in a choir. Fuck, there's candles everywhere. Okay. It's cool. It's cool, it's cool. It's a little creepy, but it's cool. Okay, I already don't like this choir. 15th of August, 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. No, oh, what the fuck? No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry! Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come! Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines, Paint the man! Cut the lines! Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you see. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Are you still there, Drew? Yeah, this was just... Twisted. Oh. Because you know a lot of that airtime is kind of bad for doing a let's play. No, yeah, so, I know, but... There isn't much to oh, it was just the kind of stuff bad. that I couldn't, you know, interrupt. I will do oh, oh cutscene. Yeah, pretty much. My bad. Okay. That was twisted. That was fucked up. That was not a fun moment for me. What happened to her? Hmm. I swear to God, they hide tender boxes in the weirdest places. Stairs. Choir main hall. Oh, cool. There's different areas of choirs, I guess. Pain and death. 
If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. You know, the crazy guy raises a good point. I don't like to say it, but he does kind of raise a point. I don't... Uh, this is a very weird room. I'm not a fan. And the fact that the title screen music is playing, also not a fan. Monster music is playing, and um, visibility sucks. I'm just kind of running by this point. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's okay. You're safe. Oh, okay, that's a cliff. Um, this is a dead end. <laughs> this is a bit of a dead end. still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. This part of the game is beyond fucked up. <laughs> limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent, so the rope secured 